Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. We got ourselves a new can opener. I know what you're saying. In this day and age, why would anybody own an electric can opener? Well, not everything has a pop top, let me tell you that. Um, and I've got a, an older can opener sitting around, it was left over from, anyway, previous occupants. And um, it does this little thing where at the end of the, the opening of the can, it pops the top off with the final cut and then the can lid just goes and the spurt of liquid from like your canned peas or canned corn goes spraying out all over the countertop and it's fucking annoying so it's going away and we're getting this one but before we go open this up first things first Well, <laughs> I guess I better hope to hell that the new one works now, huh? Uh, there's always uh, plan B, manual can opener. Make sure you always have one, folks, just in case. All right, so we've got the Hamilton Beach can opener. Um, all right, so as I'm getting this thing opened up, a little uh, unsolicited life tip for you. There are very few problems in this world that cannot be solved with the judicious application of a 10-pound sledge. That type of stuff is very cathartic as well, you know, so if you ever get the opportunity, take advantage. All right. Styrofoam, bad for the environment, but whatever, down with the earth. Uh. Ooh. Pop up lid. Still a fairly short cord, um, but that's okay. All right, and remove this piece. At least I hope it was supposed to be removed. Lift lever to remove before use, whoops, or just, you know, break the fucking thing. There's a little magnet for holding the can. There's no knife sharpener in the back, but that's okay. I own a knife sharpener, so I'm good there. All right, I'm gonna take a look at some instructions here just to make sure I don't break anything else. And we're gonna open up a can of whoop ass. That doesn't fit. I might cut it. All right, so this should be fairly simple. Make sure this lever is in the up position, which it doesn't go any higher than that. We're gonna take the can. And yes, this is a pop top. It's supposed to work with pop tops and have a smooth edge. I'm gonna place it up against there until it's right up against the rim. This metal piece will stop it. And we're gonna click this down and then run it through one rotation. Now I saw in the manual, you know, you gotta listen. Like any electric can opener, you gotta listen for the pitch of the can, to, the mechanism to change telling you that it's all cut all the way through, all the way around. And they're saying one rotation only in order to help prevent metal slivers. That makes sense. The more cutting you do against an edge, the more chances you're gonna create slivers. And that's one of the number one complaints I saw on the Amazon reviews for this was metal slivers. Well, don't walk away after you do the thing. Just fucking let it run through once and then stop it. All right, so we're gonna do this here. You can't even so. Oh, imagine that. We just stopped. All right, so lever up. Done. 
clean top off of the can. Now what am I seeing here? There are some jagged edges on here, but it doesn't look like it's anything that's actually going to come off. It's still attached. So that's interesting. Hmm. That could just be... No, it's not parts of the label. Hmm. I see, it looks like metal slivers, but when I pull it up, it's not actually can material. I don't know what the hell that is. It's probably bits of the adhesive. Are they use an adhesive? No, they don't use adhesive on these. They seal... Well, no, that's like an adhe like a compound in between the two pieces of the can lid. That is not metal. That's like um, an adhesive or a gunk. So it looks like metal slivers, but it's not actually. Huh. Now that's interesting, because at, at first I was all cocky. I'm like, oh, no, that's not a problem. But then when I opened it, I saw something that to my eye looked relatively dangerous, but upon further investigation, this is just like an adhesive or a gunk. That's not actually... I, I'll have to look and see how they put these cans together because I thought it was just metal on metal, but it looks more to me like there's some sort of... Um, I mean, whatever. It's not coming off unless you actually pick it off, but it's definitely not metal slivers. And I'm willing to bet it's food safe. It, it feels like either a wax or a glue. Anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. I guess I know what I'm having for lunch today. Since I've gone and opened the can of raviolis. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm not concerned about this at all. Um, it's visually a little off-putting. But based on what I'm seeing here, I'm sure it's not any sort of safety concern. But, you know, that's just my thoughts on it. Um, in my opinion, the nice, clean edge on this can, you know, if that was actual metal slivers or anything dangerous, I would be feeling it. I would be pricking myself on them. Um, I'm happy with this can it's definitely better than my old one. Um, <clears throat> pardon. If there was anything that was going to cause metal slivers, it would have been the old one. The old one was crap. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep using this. It's great. I'm happy with it. If you want to pick one up, down below in the video description, there is a link to purchase it on Amazon. Feel free to click on that. It's uh, my associate link. It helps me out a little bit. But, um, yeah, take a look at the, the comments, the reviews, decide for yourself. Uh, like I said, I'm not seeing any danger in any of this material that I'm seeing here. I don't think it's metal slivers. I'll, again, I'll have to look and see how these cans are put together. And, um, but it looks like some sort of glue or adhesive residue, not necessarily metal slivers. And it's, it's definitely not metal. Anyway, that's just what I have to say about it. I'm perfectly happy. I'm going to keep using it. Thanks for checking out the video.